care for me. Real rap review. You know, mm-hmm. Saba, if you're watching this, hit us up, bro. We're trying to do an interview, man. You know? In person. Heard, heard that, man. Yeah. You know? You know, you know. We, we are trying to do that, so. Yeah. Let us know, man. I'll contact them folks right here in the bottom. And if Saba ain't watching this and you know Saba, hit him up, you know? Tell him we're trying to do an interview. All right, my guy. They heard you the first time. Oh, right? I- Yo, we back. Right. Yep. Today, I guess we're getting into Saba. Uh, we're doing a song off his Care For Me album. Mm-hmm. Uh, funny story, actually. We went to Seattle. Uh, it was a Beast Coast concert. We went to go see yeah, Beast Coast concert. I got off the plane first. And I had to go use the bathroom, so I'm walking, right? <laughs> and there's this one black guy, like mad white people. One black guy with a red hat, dreads, all that, staring at me like he's just waiting for me to say something. And I'm like, yo, why is this man staring at me? I don't say nothing. I, I nod my head and then I just keep going. Then this guy. Oh, yeah, I just, I, got, I just got off the, uh, the plane. And I'm, I'm walking straight. I'm walking straight. And then I see this dude with this red hat. And he had like a army, some army like cargo pants. So I was like, I looked at him. I was like, oh. I was like, Saba. He's like, yeah, it was good. I was like, see? Yo, like whenever you're around and you got, you isolated around colonizers. <laughs> <laughs> you see your one, your, your one partner from Wakanda. Yeah, you know, it can be anywhere that that look is universal. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was good, man. <laughs> we ain't alone. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's that's like that that look we exchanged. But yeah, uh, we seen him. I think the the day we got there, he had just performed the night before. Yeah, and I, I guess believe, he, yeah. he was heading out the day yeah, we were coming we in. Just, we were just getting in. I think Beast Coast was there around that time too. Yeah, so it's a coincidence, right? Coincidence. But the song that we're gonna do today off his Care for Me album is gonna be Calligraphy, and yeah. you know. I've heard Saba and he's dope, so you know I just wanted to share it. Saba, you know, no name, and uh, Saba, the he, I think he's a Chicago native as well, so he comes from that uh, Chicago background, a Chicago oh, sound. Yeah. So you know, Chicago rappers don't disappoint. Nah, each each one is different too. So yeah, they different. all have mad different styles. Oh, yeah. I, I do like that about Chicago. Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the truth so y'all feel sorry for me. Mm. I don't write this shit so y'all feel God coming. I don't get down like that, Rodi. You mad on just on a mission to find something. Calligraphy. Mm. Needed to feel. I just think that's a. Uh, I think every. If you're listening to that, I think that's the point where it hits you. Where you're like, when you listen, you're like, okay. Like, you're not, you're not just gonna hear him out, but you, you gotta listen, because he said right here. Just the way he um, he maps that out. He says, "I don't tell the truth, so y- y- y'all y'all feel sorry for me. Mm. I don't write this shit, so y'all will, um yo all y'all will feel God coming. I don't get down like that. I wrote the amount of raps just on a mission to find something. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like it's like on his journey. Yeah. You know, this is what helped him to like find what he was mm-hmm. looking for. Like he's not doing this for the pleasure. He's just sharing his experience and hoping hopefully y'all can find something. But you could also see his confidence yeah. um, in his writing because he says, "I don't I don't tell the truth, so y'all feel sorry for me." And I don't write, I don't write shit, shit so, so. Oh, yo, feel God coming. Like, yeah, and he's saying like you know like you gonna think this is God writing, but yeah. that's that's not why I do it. You know, like I'm that great. Yeah. Like, and I just wanna you know calligraphy. Just I just wanna define it because you know uh, it's a uh, directive uh, handwriting and handwriting lettering. You know, mm-hmm. so it's just you know a stylized writing. So you know calligraphy. This guy is just using right, a style. Right. Good shit, man. Yeah. Appreciate yo, yo. No, there's, there's young people out here, you know. Nah, yo, big up to my guy, yo, yo. Snap your fingers for my man. This man. I think that's a strong that line. That is hard, right? Yeah. You want to say it for them? He said, write it away. Write it away. I got tired of running away. Running away. Mm. Everyone leaving. I write them away. Write them away. Calligraphy, you know? And I just think it's dope, you know? He said, and write it away. It's like, if, if, just thinking about it now, it's like, everything that he writes, it's like, it's in the past. Mm-hmm. So like once once he gets it on paper, it's gone. So he's like, I got tired of running away, running away. Everyone leaving, I write him away, mm-hmm. write him away. And I feel like once it's when he writes a song or when he writes anything, it's just like it's in the past, you know. Yeah. 
and I feel like nah, the reason I, I, I scrolled up and he said in the beginning too, um, after he said I don't write this so yo for God coming, he yeah. said I don't get down like that. I wrote them out on raps just on a mission to find something. Yeah. And the finding something that he's trying to get to is writing them away to let the pain go. Yeah. So I think that's I love how that he's trying to find peace and yeah, yeah, yeah. and this is what's helping him yeah. find the peace is like writing like, everything that writing he's experienced. Yeah. You know, it's letting go of all the baggage he's yeah he's held on to. So I just think that whole connection with the first verse going into the chorus, mm. how all that ties in is, is dope. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a robber. Calligraphy. Ride it away. Ride it away. I just got tired of running away. Running away. Everyone leaving, I ride him away. Ride him away. Hey. Calligraphy. I'm the man I gotta do, can't get out of bed. My best on the way to where we really hang on my wall. By the dress, I'm trying to see you the life less. No time for one of my skin. I see the right left. Just what he's saying, man. Reading the signs like I'm a highway driver. I just hit the... I just blase, hit the blase, 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 hieroglyphic. I see the wall that they write in. I build a wall up in my head. Autopilot, would it feel like I was on? I sent the word out flying. I see. I sent the word out flying. Yeah. But I just feel like, what do you think he means when he said, I build a wall up in my head. Auto, um, autopilot, would it feel like I was on? What do you think that, I, um, well, that wall is? And what do you think a different hand that made him feel like auto, autopilot was on? Well, just, that's, just that's, because... That's, that's complex, I, right? There. Yeah. At first, I didn't really get it, but for right now, I guess with the hieroglyphic line, I guess he's saying, you know, I see the wall in my head that I write in, and hieroglyphics, you know, they wrote on hieroglyphics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like he's basically just saying, like, the memories that are in my yeah. head. Like, I ingrained all these memories in my head. And, all the impactful stuff that I've Yeah, like and the, they're on the wall in my head, you know, yeah. like... And and by that, he could even be ma- meaning, like, his brain. Like, yeah. on the wall of my head, like, his memories are... Like, I don't know how to completely explain it, like, right now. I feel but... like it's, like, all the... So, you know, like, um, even when it, it's dope, because it ties back to Dream Real, but they yeah. said, like, the reason they're here is because of their pain. Yeah. So, it's, like, I feel like with that, he's saying he's writing all the things out on the wall, on the, on the, hier- on the hieroglyph. Yeah. That's the pain that everyone alludes to, that they yeah. hate, that got them to where they are. That's why he's on the and autopilot. And it's always in the back of your head. Yeah. It's, like, always, yeah. And the reason he's on autopilot is because all that pain is reaching out to the masses. People understand them, and now he's... And it's like, helping them yeah. put out what he's putting out. Exactly. Like, that's why, you know, so, without, yeah. without that, all of this I mean, stuff... That shit is heavy with yeah. you. I couldn't just, like... I couldn't just let that go. Without all of these memories, he wouldn't be on auto, mm-hmm. autopilot. Without all these experiences, he wouldn't be on autopilot. Right. The fact that he had the, the memories, and he's keeping them. He's, like, he's, he's cherishing, like, every moment, pretty much. So yeah, that's dope. I couldn't believe yeah, that. That verse is fire. Yeah, it's deep. It's, it's deeper it's deep, than like yeah, yeah. It's deeper than just what it seems. Yeah, so I fuck with it. I just got tired of running away, running away. Mm. Everyone leaving, I ride him away, ride him away. The living free. Ride it away, ride it away. Hey. I just got tired of running away, running away. Everyone leaving, I ride him away, ride him away. Hey. in itself because yeah. I feel like that's what his mind is telling him. It's like, run, run, run. Like, just don't deal with this shit. But he's he's like, nah, I'm tired of that. He's like, he's standing yeah, he's standing his ground now. Yeah. And he, he even ends it like, makes me running away, 
running away. So it's like the whole time it's been like he's had that thought of like running away. And I love but, how he says that because um, it says, I'm not mad at God, but I can't get out of bed. And then yeah. in the beginning, it's funny because with intention, he says, I don't tell the truth so y'all will feel sorry for me. I didn't write this shit so all y'all will feel God coming. Yeah. And it's like, you can tell he's like kind of battling. He says, I'm not mad at God, but he's kind of battling to see why. Like, yeah. why God? Yeah. You know what I mean? But he's not trying to blame it, but he's still trying to have hope and belief, even though that hope is slipping. Mm. So he's asking why? Why? And it's like, I feel a lot like And that, that. could be what he's, he's fighting too. It's mm. like, he wants to run away from that thought, but it's like, nah, I want to I wanna tackle this head on, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Overall, I think this is dope. Everything about it's dope and it's smooth. Just with yeah, the real smooth. Background yeah, background as well. Like I would love to hear this live. I feel like that'd be yeah. a, a dope. Performance. I was gonna say, especially if they have like live pianists and mm-hmm. all that. Like this would be so dope. It gives like kind of a jazz feel, but it definitely still has like hip hop sure. elements for, for sure. sure. Yeah, um, I won't say that he's like boom bap or like he fits into any style specifically. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't know. I'm really I can't really compare him to to anybody off the top of my head, yeah. but. Yeah, Saba. He's definitely Saba, man. I think he made his own voice. Yeah. I cemented his own little lane there. Yeah. This is dope. I, I like it. I'm not I'm not going to hit against it. Yeah. The lyrics are dope. Sound is dope. Vocals is dope. The way he put it together. The like, delivery. Everything yeah. was it, it was spot on about this. So, I really like the song. Recommend it. And shit. Would you recommend the project? I mean, I'll give yeah. it a shot. Listen to it. Why not, right? Yeah. I mean, honestly, this is from 2018. This project, Care for, Care for yeah, Me, is from 2018. Old, not even that old. Not that old, not that new, but shit. I listened to the whole project today before I came into this video, and bro, this, you just gotta listen to it all the way through. Like, mm-hmm. it doesn't do justice if you just listen to one song. Like Saba, I think he's such a good artist that you could listen to just just a whole album through and not not want to change it. Um, that being said, I think this is one of those songs that you could listen through and not want to change it. it. It goes to show what he could really do. Um, I do wish it was like a little longer, uh, but other than that, mm. I fucked with everything about it—the production, his lyrics, the style, his delivery, everything. He's different, but it's refreshing, you know. Mm. Right for sure, that's Saba man. Yeah, Saba calligraphy. Shout out, care for me, real rap review. You know, mm. Saba, if you're watching this, hit us up, bro. We trying to do an interview, man. You know, in person. Heard, heard that, man. Yeah. You know, you know, you know. We, we are trying to do that, so. Yeah. I just know, man. I'll contact him for right here in the bottom. And if Saba ain't watching this and you know Saba, hit him up, you know? Tell him we trying to do an interview. All right, all right my guy. He, they heard you the first time. Oh, all right, all right. Good review. Good. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yo, we out. We-